Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea and today I am so excited for today's video. So if you know me and if you don't know me, I love me some Fenty Beauty. So I have here the new Fenty Diamond Balm and Cognac Candy. And I cannot wait to get all of this juicy goodness on my face. So in today's video, of course, I'm gonna be showing you a demonstration on this Diamond Balm. And I'm also gonna be comparing it to the original Diamond Balm and the um, Diamond Balm 2. So we can see what all three looks like on my face and also give you options as to which one you should pick up if you don't own any of them or maybe you should pick up all three i don't know but that's what we're going to be talking about today thank you so much if this is your first time here visiting my channel i'd love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel because i just love meeting all of you all and having you here with me on this journey and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back for supporting my channel for just being here with me and you know, being on this journey with me. I'm just so happy to be sharing this platform with each and every one of you. So let's get into this video. Here's the box that the uh, Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm came in. I love the graphic designs of the packaging. And then on the inside of the packaging, isn't this cute? It's got that beautiful peachy color. Um, it does have a good protective sleeve. So when I got my product, it wasn't broken or anything. And then this is what the actual packaging of the product looks looks like. So it's got this pretty cognac color. And I don't know if you can see kind of the cognac speckles on the container, but that's what it's like. And then here is the actual product, y'all. And I have not even touched it. I've only taken pictures of it for Instagram but I have not swatched it yet. So we're gonna do this together. And then it comes with a nice size mirror. I don't wanna blind y'all, but this is the nice size mirror that it comes with. It does retail for $39 at Sephora. It is limited edition. It is described as a 3D glittering veil of pure sparkle for the face and body. Um, it's going to be free of sulfates, SLS and SLES, parabens and phthalates. The product is also vegan and cruelty free. It says that this Diamond Balm has a 3D formula that will leave your face and your body crystal coated. It features a unique jelly to powder formula that is cool to the touch, melts into the skin, and creates an all glitz, no grit finish for all skin tones. Um, plus it comes in a jewel like compact, you'll never want to put down. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on one Diamond Balm here, one over here and then one on the chest so we can see all three in action. I do have on foundation, concealer. I set my face very lightly with powder, but y'all, let me just pause for the cause here. Do y'all see this glow on this base? Phenomenal. I think I'm gonna record a video on it because I used the original Fenty Beauty foundation and typically this foundation is too matte for me on my face with just the foundation alone, but the products that I put underneath it, has made this look like a beautiful, dewy like foundation. I'm so here for it. Okay, enough about that. Um, so yes, and then on my eyes, I'm wearing the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadow 3 eyeshadow palette. So it is this one right here. I have a few shades from this palette and then a few shades from the Moroccan Spice palette, which is currently on sale for $29 at Sephora. So of course, I will list all of these products down below so that you can take a look at them if you'd like to. But on to what's most important. So let's start off with what you guys are probably here for, this beauty right here. So let me go ahead and do a little swatch. Feels very nice in texture. So this is what the product looks like on my finger. So I wanna apply it first to my cheeks with my finger to see what that looks like. Because typically when I apply these powders, um, I like to use my finger. This, can y'all see it? Oh. <laughs> this is so nice. All right, so let me swatch on the back of my hand so that you can see what this looks like. So here's just a quick swatch of it on the back of my hand. And I saw someone describe this as a product that really did not have a base color. It was just more sparkle and sheen. And I would have to agree with them. There's no real base color, but this shimmer of gold cognac color is really coming from the sparkle and the sheen. It is not gritty at all. Like it feels like so silky on the skin, on my skin as I'm rubbing it in. 
So this is what it looks like, a little more diffused um, across my hand. Oh, Y'all, this is beautiful. Let's apply this with my brush to see um, if, a, if it would look a little different. So I'm going in with my Refer P09 brush and I'm going to apply it right here. And then see if we can blend this out. So it doesn't look so concentrated. That is pretty. Gorgeous in my book. All right, now I'm gonna go in with uh, the Diamond Balm 2. So this is Hollow At Me, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna apply it with my finger and pat this on here. So this, you can definitely tell, is obviously a more pink-based color. And it's very, 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 very similar to this um, Cognac Candy formula, I think. I think it's very similar in formula. And also the same that there's really no base color. So here is Hollow At Me right here, Cognac Candy. There's, real, there's really no base color. It's more of just the color from the sparkle and the shimmer. So I'm gonna blend this in to my hand. And you're getting the same effect from this Hollow At Me Diamond Balm 2 as you do with Cognac Candy. Very smooth in texture. There's no grit with the shimmer. It really is, I would say like glitter shimmer. Just glitter shimmer, ooh. And then with the original Diamond Balm, we can't leave you out. This is a mini size. So here's the Diamond Balm, the original one. Let's apply a little bit to my forehead so you all can see what it looks like, you know, on the face. I love applying this down my T-zone. Because when the sun hits, just look like a glowing goddess. All right, so we've got all three diamond bombs on our face and I think you can't go wrong with any of them. Now, cognac candy, because that's our new one. If you are of a lighter complexion, like more fair, I don't know how this would look on your skin. I think it would be too deep for your skin, but then again, there's no real base color, so it might work. I would say for fair skins, Probably not. You might want to stick with the Hollow At Me or the original Diamond Balm because it doesn't have, I think it might, these two options might look better for you. If you have light to medium skin, I think depending on your undertone, if it's more warm or if it's more neutral, you might still be able to rock this Cognac Candy. Um, I think the original and the Hollow At Me would all look great on you as well. And then I think for sure, if you're like medium tan deep, Cognac Candy is going to look amazing on you. I think the deeper you are, the more beautiful it would look as well too. This is, I mean, this screams bronzy summer and I am here for it because who doesn't love a bronzy glow in the summertime? And although I may only be in my backyard this summer, hey, I'm gonna be bronzed and I'm gonna be glowy. I'm so here for that. I love all three of them. I think they look beautiful on the skin. I think they literally look like just a diamond effect. And I like that you can apply it with your finger and that it can be blended out with a brush. So if you don't wanna use your finger, you can use a brush and it will still apply very beautifully. All right, y'all, so I finished off my face. I added bronzer to the look. Of course, I had to use my Fenty Beauty bronzer. I have mine in the shade Caramel Cutie. And then I went in with a NYX lip, lip liner and cold brew and the Fenty Mademoiselle lipstick in uh, single. That's what you see here. Mind you guys, this is on sale now for 30% off on the Fenty Beauty website and at Sephora. So you can get this for $12.50, I think. Love this shade. And then of course, we had to finish off with some gloss balm. So that's what's on my face. I feel like a glowing goddess. You cannot tell me I am anything less than that. This, these products are so beautiful. I have been checking on Fenty's website, Sephora's website, and unfortunately, this Hollow At Me uh, Diamond Balm 2 is out of stock. Um, on Fenty's website, it does have a, a, a link that you can put your email in so that you can be notified when it does come back into stock. So if you're interested in this one, the Diamond Balm 2, I would suggest you going to Fenty and then putting in your email so you can be notified when it's in stock. But of course, 
Cognac Candy, and the original Diamond Balm. They are in stock both at Sephora and on Fenty's website. So if you are interested in those, I will have those products linked down below so that you can go and check them out. Um, but yeah, I hope that you found this review helpful and that um, I was able to at least give you some insight as to if you feel like these products will work for you. If you have any of them, let me know your feedback down below. These are just beautiful and I love that there's no base to them so that they can work for a wider shade range. If you are of fair complexion and you have this and you like it, please let us know down below because I would love to see this on a fair complexion. I think it could work, I'm just not sure if it will work. But since it doesn't have a base color, that's why I'm like, hey, it might. It, it just might but yes that's it thank you guys so much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed this video and i really hope to see you in my very next video bye guys